Well, I want my facts to Mars. And from the blaze comes a... <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose it. This is actually bordering from, on child abuse. This idiotic school is putting kids in these tents so they can practice their instruments. Uh, you can see the little tents there. I've never seen anything like this. That principal's got to be out of his mind. He needs to be put into an institution. I don't care. I'm going to say it. School and health officials say they found a way for students to face music during band class inside when an actual high. We're not putting these in every classroom, Principal Eric Anderson told the station, adding that the idea was a collaboration with local health officials. Good Lord! This is what we have running our health departments as nut cases? These are nuts. They're nuts. Nuts, 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 nuts. I have no other way to put it. I'm sorry. They're crazy. I don't want anyone to think out there that this is a solution to more kids in the classroom. Good God. I don't think that would work, but in this scenario, it's, real, it's worked really well. Uh... Mr. Eric Anderson, sir, you need to resign and check yourself into a mental hospital. I'm sorry, this is border bordering on child abuse. Putting kids in tents over some overgrown flu from China. Unbelievable. Anderson adds, uh, when the nat when Natchi ruled that his students have been back to in school on a hybrid schedule since January 26th, which means they're not fully back in school now, right? It's some stupid thing where they uh, are online part of the time uh, playing with their cell phones and all the times they're actually in the classroom. Some folks deem it a clever idea to put kids in tents so they can play their musical instruments. And excuse me, unless you are using HEPA filters and those things, they're not going to stop the virus anyway. Wenatchee High School Band is an award-winning organization. How are they winning any awards when they're this stupid? I applaud their efforts of maintaining their standards while still trying to adhere to safety, one Twitter user wrote. While it may look ridiculous, these kids wouldn't do it if they didn't want to. Oh, boy. But plenty of other social media users have been mocking the move. There I was trapped in a tiny green tent with a sousaphone, and all I could think of was not again. Uh, high school music, high school band music in Wenatchee, Michigan State. This is not normal. Yeah, you're damn straight, it's not normal. This is absurd, ridiculous, and they're getting mocked relentlessly on uh, online, which they should be, and I'm mocking them too. Well, this confirms that another Twitter user declared our decision to move to Red State is definitely correct. Can someone in the Wenatchee area donate a couple of their old camping tents to the high school? For the poor tuba uh, players, another user asked. <laughs> that adults, government, teachers, and parents would abuse young people like this is unimaginable, another com commenter wrote. I have to agree with that. They're just Bleh! with us at this point, another user said. This is absolutely insane, another commenter noted. I fear for these kids' mental health. That's why you should. You're right. Excellent example of room through fear. Once you sacrifice your freedom for security, you'll soon have none, another user said. Well said. Time to tell mainstream media and dumbs we're no longer afraid. Time to shout freedom, take off our masks, open businesses and schools, and hug our family and neighbors. 
This is beyond stupid. We have lost our minds, another commenter wrote. Every day I can say, I say it can't get more asinine, and yet it does. Unbelievable. This is most ludicrous. I'm going to say this again. Mr. Principal Eric Anderson, please resign your position and have yourself committed to a mental hospital, along with uh, every other idiotic uh, public official who thought this one up. God, this is scary. These idiots are uh, idiots like him are out on the street. I mean it. I mean it. I'm not joking around here. Oh, well. I want to face some more. Thanks for watching.